All right, some of you guys are asking about my settings for using lossless scaling in World of Warcraft. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. But the very first thing we want to do is actually in Windows. We're going to hit Windows and the pause key on your keyboard. If your keyboard has one, if not, uh, just go to system, find search system and about settings and look in Windows specifications and look at the version. If you're on 24H2, let's go back into lossless scaling here under the Capture API. Uh, 24H2, generally WGC is the more stable Capture API. If you're on 23H2 or earlier, then you want to go with DXGI. But uh, either way, you can try to play around with these two options. If you're having any issues, you can try DXGI, WGC, turning on performance mode, basically. All right, let's get into the game. All right, now let's go over some basic settings in the settings here. You can see I'm running as administrator. I have the game starting as administrator and also starting minimized at Windows startup. By enabling this, that means you can actually uh, use the app without running Steam um, or having Steam reporting that you're using this app or anything. Okay, let's get into it. So scaling mode and scaling type, I don't use these at all. Um, these, again, I, as I said in the first video are if you want to scale from a lower resolution up to a higher resolution and then you would use the they have tons of different scaling uh, engines that you can use to try to do that anyways I don't mess with it this is just about frame generation so frame generation we use LSFG 2.3 um, X I use X4 mode you can try the other ones if you prefer if you're having issues like um, while you're running less of scaling and it's capping out your GPU, you want to turn on performance mode. That makes it uh, run it a little bit better. Um, cursor, clip cursor. This just makes it so it doesn't go out. Your cursor doesn't go outside the game window. Um, these other op cursor options. Again, also by the way, you can hover over basically every option in the app and it'll tell you what it does. Um, but I don't use any of these other options. I did, I was using a just cursor at some point, but um, I don't think it's required anymore. It was just for like some of the earlier versions, it helped a lot. Rendering. Okay, this is where you can get like really, really into the nitty, nitty gritty of trying to reduce your input lag and stuff like that. Uh, I cannot explain any of that in this video. I, I have not actually messed with any of that, but um, if you go in the Discord, there are people that can guide you on how to Maybe reduce your input lag by um, enabling some of these options, changing some of the same, changing the max frame latency. You can actually go inside the folder into the, some of the config files and open them with Notepad and change some even further uh, tweak some of these options and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, again, I don't know anything about this uh, HDR support. I think that's pretty much uh, self-explanatory. G-Sync support if you're using a monitor with G-Sync. Enabled, you, def you definitely want to put, turn this on. Draw FPS, that's just what draws the FPS counter in the upper left corner. So turn that off or on if you prefer, or have different pro prof profiles so you don't actually have to scroll through this to turn it off and on. I have an X4 with it off, X4 with it on, and you can make different profiles with different titles and different settings, however you prefer. Capture API. We went over at the at the beginning of the video. Again, if you're on 24H2, uh, WGC will probably work best. If you're on 23H2 or earlier, uh, DXGI probably will work will work best. But you can you can play around with it. There's, I mean, it's not going to harm your system uh, by playing around with it. GPU and display. If you are interested in doing a dual GPU setup and having lossless scaling run on a secondary GPU, here's where you would do that. Um, I would highly recommend you go in the Discord and ask about the best way to set up, like physically set up uh, the dual GPU setup, because they actually, I think they recommend that you plug your display into the secondary GPU actually, otherwise it Anyway, just go in the Discord because I, I don't know all the details off, off the top of my head. But um, there is a way to min-max the dual GPU setup, with, uh, especially with like your hardware and cables and stuff like that. Anyway, yeah, I just leave these options on auto, um, crop input. I'm not sure how that works. 
Uh, you can mess around with that if you prefer. I don't mess with this behavior. Um, multi display mode. Um, so if you have multiple monitors, you want to turn this on. I mean, you don't have to. Okay, let me show you what happens. Okay, let's go in the game and hit Control Alt S. Now we are generating frames. Let's we can look down here. Wow is reporting 40 FPS. Um, the game's reporting 160, right? I mean, the loss of scaling is is generating up to 160. Um, yeah. So, if with multi-display mode, if I were to have that off, let me go turn it off. Actually, you will notice if I tab out and go to my other monitor, or even just like, even just tab out of the game, you see the number, the the frame generation gets disabled. If I turn on multi-display mode. Even when I open up the Windows thing here, the, it'll con continue generating frames. So I, I mean, I mean, I guess you could save a little bit on your power by having it turn off automatically every time you tab out, if you prefer. Um, but I, I like to keep multi-display mode on. Anyway, yeah, that's it. My settings are very, very basic. Um, I don't really take any measures to try to reduce input lag or anything. I feel like. Uh, the input lag isn't so bad. I don't feel like it really affects me that much, or maybe I'm just adapted to it. I feel like uh, after playing with the with lots of scaling on for many many weeks now, um, yeah, I'm just used to it. Like I don't really feel like I honestly don't feel like there's any difference when I toggle off. Like it feels the exact same to me. But again, more uh, that's personal preference. Some people are more sensitive to it than others. Um, anyway, yeah, that's my setup for loss of scaling in World of Warcraft. I hope it helps you. Again, uh, if you have any issues, hop in the Discord and uh, someone will be able to help you. Thanks for watching. Peace out and GG's.